Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be telling you my Kindle Clear Out Readathon TBR. <laughs> So the Kindle Clear Out Readathon starts in two days, so get ready, get excited, I'm very excited. Um, if you didn't know about the Kindle Clear Out Readathon, I'm linking my announcement video down below as well as all the hosts. Um, basically we're doing a week long readathon where you try and clear out as many books as possible on your ebook, Kindle library, audiobook library anything digital. Just want to preface saying sorry if I sound a little different in this video. I have a cut <laughs> underneath my tongue and it's kind of hard to speak a little bit right now so I don't sound like my normal self. Anyway you might not even notice but I do. <laughs> um, so I have a bunch of great books to talk to you all about today so let's get started. Okay so the first prompt we're going to be talking about is the oldest book on your Kindle. This one is definitely the oldest one. I think it was the first ebook that I ever bought on my Kindle because I saw a booktuber who I used to be obsessed with talk about this book and I wanted to check it out. And it was my first ebook I ever think I bought on my Kindle. Um, I just haven't read it yet. <laughs> I think I started, I think I read maybe like a chapter, but then I put it down for whatever reason, I don't remember. And that one is called Blood Rose by Danielle Rose. I don't know what many of these books are about, so I'm going to be reading the summaries for the majority of them. There's no wrath like that of a witch scorned. As one of the only spirit users in her coven, Ava has been chosen to wield the power, the ultimate weapon against the immortal vampire species witches have been at war with for centuries. But on the night of her birthright, Ava's coven is attacked, forced to seek refuge among the very beings she's sworn to kill. Ava vows revenge on those who took her former life from her. As Ava slowly transitions into a life of blood and war, she realizes everything she's been told is a lie. So it's a fantasy romance, deals with magic, deals with witches, vampires. I'm very excited. I can understand why I downloaded it. <laughs> Sounds very intriguing. So I'm very excited for this. For the shortest book in your Kindle library, I am going with uh, Wicked Villains bonus content by Katie Robert. This is a short story collection filled with just little short stories from the Wicked Villains series and I've read all of the ones released so far and so these are really very 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 short. So I might read one of them, I might read all of them, we will see, but they are very short. So this definitely fills that prompt and I'm very excited. I've been meaning to read these for so long. I just haven't gotten to them yet. I'm very excited. I'm especially excited for Tinkerbell and Hooks because they're my favorite couple <laughs> so far. Um, if you didn't know, this series is all reimagining of uh, fairy tales. If the hero or heroine got with the villain of their fairy tale story. So like the first book is about Jasmine and Jafar, the second book is about Hades, Meg, and Hercules, and the third one is about Hook and Tink, and then the fourth one is about the Beast, Gaston, and Belle. They're all contemporary by the way and they're very steamy so watch out. <laughs> Next for disability rep I have Blind Fall by Amanda Milo. This one was a recommendation from Desi. I'm linking her channel down below. I love her. You can't tell by the cover but this is an alien romance book where our main character heroine is blind and this is her guide dog on the cover. You wouldn't know that by looking at the cover. I was very skeptical when she talked about it. I was like, did she put the right cover up? Because there's no alien on there. <laughs> but it's just her saying I dog. This is the sixth, fifth book in her, the Stolen by an Alien series. And I even asked Desi, I was like, it's number five. Do I need to read the ones before? And she said, no, she wasn't interested in all the other ones. And this one is really, really good though. I really trust her. I'm gonna do it. This one is fairly short. It's only 171 pages. It's been on my Kindle Unlimited library for so long. I've had it on Kindle Unlimited for so long. I've been meaning to find a book that has really great visual impairment representation in it because I haven't really found one yet. <laughs> the few that I have read have been really bad. <laughs> so it has a great ratings on Goodreads so I'm very 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 intrigued. Okay. I was gifted as a slave bride to an alien giant. That was the start of my day. At least I have my guide dog Coda with me. I'd be lost without her. Literally. Yes I'm blind and our new alien owner is kind enough that he's not holding me to the wife or slave deal even though that's what I was intended for. We've basically been dropping into a scene from Little House on the Alien Prairie, complete with his one room cabin, and he's been the perfect gentleman. He's pretty great, and I'm actually starting to wish I could take him home with me. He doesn't know yet, but the threat of him going into rut is no longer a deterrent. Sounds very interesting. I'm really excited for it. I haven't read an, a new alien romance 
in a very long time. All I've been reading is Ruby Dixon, so I'm very excited to read a new author. Next, for the prompt of read an e arc, I picked Bring You Back by Melinda Schlegel. I'm so sorry if I butchered your last name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the author very kindly contacted me to review this book for her. Um, I haven't gotten to it yet because school has been crazy. For Justin Fowler, I am the girl who got away. It was my fault. One year ago, the summer before our senior year, we almost shared a kiss. The same summer, I left our small beach town and our group of friends behind to follow my older brother to college. We, the Joffreys, are known for splitting, but Caleb and I always stuck together. We've taken care of each other, so there was no other option but to be at his side. I stayed in touch for a few months until my ghosting Jean got the best of me, and I cut all ties with my old life. Then my new life stole from me. One wrong decision made by a careless driver took Caleb's life, leaving me to survive on my own. The death of my brother led me back to the comfort of the small beach town where I grew up. But Bellsby is not the same. Julian is not the same. He's distant, cold, hardened. Fighting a battle of his own that's led him into the arms of Reyna, the other girl in our group, the one who saw him first, the one who fell for him first. In her mind, I left and Julian got over me. In her mind, his feelings are now for her. But she doesn't see what I see buried under his guarded exterior. She doesn't know that she's just been there when I wasn't. Now it's a new summer and I'm here to take it all back. I want my life, I want my friends, I want my chance with Julian, I'll bring him back, I'll fix us, even if that means other things have to break in the process. Now, that sounds really good, but I'm a little, little, little nervous because it looks like he already is with somebody, so if there's cheating in here, it might not be the book for me. <laughs> I don't condone cheating. I'm very excited, but I'm also very nervous and Hopefully there's no cheating in this book. <laughs> Next for read a book by a person of color, I am reading Let It Shine by Alyssa Cole. This one has been on my Kindle library for so long. It's only 134 pages. So this was originally in a Juneteenth historical romance anthology. So that's pretty cool. I wonder which one it is. Um, it's called The Brightest Day. That's the name of it. Sophronia Wallace knows that proper black women don't court trouble by upending the status quo, but it's 1961 and the civil rights movement is in full swing. Sophie spent her life being prim, proper, and reserved, as if that could bring her mother back. But the nonviolent protests happening across the South bring out her inner agitator. Ivan Friedman has devoted his life to boxing, loving the finesse of a well-delivered punch and the penance of receiving one. His family escaped from Europe before the horrors of World War II, and Ivan decides to help fight injustice in their new country, even if it goes against all his instincts as a fighter. When Ivan and Sophie meet, they realize that their pasts are intertwined, and with the sparks that fly between them, perhaps their futures will be too. With everything in their society lined up against them, will Sophie and Ivan be able to beat the odds, or will the chance at love be destroyed by the tumultuous times they live in? I feel like this is going to be a very important read, for people to read. I'm very interested and very intrigued by the premise. Interested to see what these characters go through. I'm very interested. I've also been really meaning to read Alyssa Cole, so I'm very excited. I finally am getting into one of her books. <laughs> the last prompt that I have is your newest ebook. I don't have a book for this yet. Um, watch my vlog when I make it because I download a new ebook every single day. So this isn't my newest ebook if I pick one right now because by the time I start the readathon, it's not gonna be my newest ebook and that's how my brain works. I need to pick the actual newest book on my Kindle TBR. I guess wait <laughs> till my vlog comes out and then you'll figure out what book that is. So last book I'm talking about today doesn't actually fill a prompt and that's because I need an audiobook to listen to every single week. That's how I get through the week is listening to audiobooks. So um, I only have one. I've only found one. I'm going to keep looking for more books on my Kindle that I can also have as an audiobook, probably through Audible Escape. Um, this one is going to be through Audible Escape, and that is The Engagement Gift by Lauren Bleakley. I have it on my Kindle, and then I also have it on my Audible Escape library. Some things are better left unsaid. Besides, I don't need to act on every wild thought that flits through my imagination, not when my fiance and I have the kind of life I've always longed for, passionate, intimate, and oh so real. I can't risk losing him, so I focus on building our life together as a couple, expanding my career as a sports reporter, and prepping our wedding. But the more insistent my thoughts become, the closer I get to tell Telling him what I want most. The question though is what will happen to our unbreakable bond when I do. So I don't really know what it's about. <laughs> that was very vague but it's just one of the books that I was able to find on my Kindle that I could also find as an audiobook so we're gonna go for it even though it's very short and it won't last me the whole week. <laughs> I'm gonna try and find more ebooks that I can also listen to. So there you have it. Those are the books that I plan to be reading during the Kindle Clear Out Readathon. Please let me know down below if you plan on participating in this readathon. We're all very excited for it. Also let me know down below if you've made a TBR video. I'd love to check it out. Let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye.